Hello everyone, welcome to Studio Flat Mountain. This is Jun. So I'm still making a filter system right now, but today I've got this bench drill or drill press. And I would like to make a review about this uh, machine. Initially I was thinking to buy a machine like ordinary one like this in the pictures. And, but then when I started reading reviews, I kept finding that people are saying that the precision has an issue. The most of the machine within my budget has, has an issue. I had a difficult time finding the right ones. One day I found a machine, which is this one, on Amazon. Read the review and it's super positive. Uh, it seems good functionalities, along with the um, power and accuracy. Everything is uh, pretty excellent. So I'd like to show this machine to you guys and it's pretty budget fr friendly one. So it could be very useful among hobbyist and possibly professional as well. So let's get started. Unboxing. The face plate. So these things are in the box and this is a parallel guide which is gonna go around here I guess probably like this and this is a quick release clamp I think which goes inside here so anyways I'm gonna assemble it So this is how it looks when you build and set up and the setup time is like three minutes if you know how to do it. It's quite simple that you put this clamp inside the rod and then you put this rod in the uh, hole of uh, this base and then tighten this uh, uh, screw and then I mean bolt and then the back plate and yeah looks pretty neat and there is the uh chart the uh, uh, rotation speed versus uh, the size of drill and so you can see this as a reference so this is how you turn on and so now it's uh, it says rpm it's not running so it's zero and by turning clockwise one more time and it start running and this is the knob to control speed electrically and you can select two speed by this lever like this and change the base speed the slower and faster I think internally changing the gear and, and it's uh, shifting the uh, base speed so let's try so let's set the uh first and then start the so 200 rpm eight hundred fifty rpm right. and let's change to two and five hundred RPM, six 
It's not a twenty. So this is how you control speed. And it seems there is a mechanism that uh, if the load is heavy, it will give a bit of power to compensate the speed, to stabilize the uh, speed of the reading. And by pressing here, you can select the um, depth, how it is. And by pressing this, it will reset the position to zero. And then initially, I think you cannot move this machine because this uh, stop lever is uh, set to maximum. So like it's locked, you cannot move the handle. So you release it. And then now you can move this machine the maximum depth to for 90, it's 90 millimeter. Yeah, I need I need both hand to go maximum. <coughs> and uh, if you want to, how do you say, limit the depth, you set the depth limit. Usually, you do this uh, a little more accurately, and then now it's limited to 14 millimeter. I will release this. And this lever is to control a uh, base position of this machine. So when you release this lever, and then if you rotate this wheel, the whole machine changes the position, the base position. And then let's say you change the base position and then lock it. It's hard to tell if the base position is changing or the machine depth is moving but now it's locked so it's the machine is reading for the depth and the base position doesn't change so depending on the material height and how deep you want to go you, you can adjust the height of the base position and then drill and these are these two buttons are LED light and laser guidance, like cross laser guidance. So you can turn on the laser guidance like this. So you can tell uh, the center line and then turn on the LED. So you, you see, it's bright enough to see very well. And this clamp is uh, So this clamp is by moving uh, clockwise or clockwise or counterclockwise, like a clamp system, I guess. Either side will work to to hold the material. So this horizontal position is to release the material, and now you can take it off. Oh. And then the round stuff, yeah. There is a notch here, so you can hold round, round shape. And uh, the another feature of this uh, switch is that there is a uh, emergency stop button is included. It, it's e stop button basically. So if you hit it, it will turn off. And until you turn this off the clockwise to zero uh, it doesn't reset and by turning this to zero it reset and then you can turn it on again so the base size is um, 350 by 330 millimeter and the height is 30 millimeter and it can hold uh, 1.5 millimeter to 13 millimeter of a size of a diameter of drill and part of this machine is a 710 watt drilling capability is uh, with wood it goes uh, 40 millimeter wait a sec is it does it mean diameter or depth uh, i'm pretty sure it can go deeper than uh, 40 millimeter with wood so it could be diameter 
and uh, with uh, metal it can go 13 millimeter um yeah i think it's uh diameter or depth uh, i'll i'll try diameter i'll try diameter with uh 125 millimeter so this is my filter system uh the e exhaust side of um plate has a flange and connected to 125 milli pipe and i have to uh make a hole of uh, 120 milli i guess a little bit that i have never used before bimetal uh, also 120 milli and yeah let's try to make a hole Yeah, okay. The uh, laser system is not working because it's uh, distracting the uh, light to penetrate. <laughs> so, I am um, yeah, okay. Depths of uh, depths from here and to the center of the drill. I wonder as uh, 12.4 millimeter. Yeah, 12.4 millimeter ish. So if the material is, material is deeper than that, uh, you got to find some solution. Um, because of this column, the drill bit center doesn't reach to the exact center. It's hard to see. The center line is here, you see, and it, and it goes close, but not exact. So maybe I have to grind this part a little bit and later fill it up with something else to fix it. Then I can test this guy. Is a slow speed. Pretty good. Perfect. So overall, this is uh, I thought this is pretty good. Just two things uh, got my attention. That um, uh, one thing is that the uh, update speed of this uh, depth number has a slight lag or. It's less fluid. Uh, how do you say that? Like, like frame per second is lacking. It has a bit of delay. And second thing is that the sound of motor. I mean, it's not motor. Maybe it's. I think it's a gear. Gear. It has a gear instead of belt. So probably louder than the model which has a belt and pulley system. And that's the thing. You know, uh, I thought uh, got my attention, but. Yeah, overall it's a usable machine, I think, and uh, I'm sure it, the, uh, it cut the metal very well as well. 
and uh, I'm gonna test uh, with metal in in different video I think in the future when I got a uh, thick metal with probably uh, 10 millimeter so anyways thanks for watching and see you again